Sun Scope, we've 3D printed all kinds of things. Drones, body parts, even me. But now it's time for us to 3D print an entire house. Have you ever seen a house being built? Who was building it? Now imagine if a machine could print a house. Hi, I'm Taylor, and I'm working with a bunch of people to make different machines that can do just that. You may have seen a 3D printer in action. Many use plastic, melting it and squeezing it layer by layer to build an object. A 3D concrete printer is exactly the same, except using concrete. Our research at Swinburne University is examining different machines to print concrete. Our printer needs to be able to do two tasks. Firstly, it needs to be able to move the nozzle to any position in a three-dimensional space. Secondly, it needs to be able to push the concrete out. We mix up a stiff batch of concrete with some sand, cement and water. Concrete becomes hard through a chemical reaction called hydration, where the compounds in the concrete form chemical bonds with water molecules. But we don't want it to harden inside the machinery. So there needs to be a careful balance between how quickly the concrete hardens and how slowly it flows out to allow it to pass through the nozzle. To maintain a steady flow, we mix chemicals called plasticizers and retarders. Traditionally, concrete is used by first making a mould, usually with wood, and the concrete is mixed and poured in. After some time, the wood is removed and the concrete piece remains. 3D printing means we have the ability to create shapes we couldn't before. Here's a shape we'd like to construct. The printer works by squeezing out a long line of concrete. Once that layer has been completed, the nozzle is moved up to begin the next layer. Because the concrete has already begun to harden, the lower layers can support the weight of the upper layers without getting squashed. This process takes a while, but by the end, we have the physical construction of our shape we made on the computer. So the advantage of 3D concrete printing, any shape is possible. It also means that one day we might see a machine like this printing a house from the ground up.